Comrades, it is time again for real politics. This is, I believe, episode 22, but I might be wrong about that. It's already been a while since the last episode, so I think it will be worthwhile to just do a very quick recap and then continue. Our warmonger level is still very high. You can see it's the second highest in the world after Pakistan. At least they now will get the flak if there's any uh, resistance from some of the world powers against the warmonger levels. But uh, still, it's something that we need to bring down. Well, that just happens over time, but that means we won't be able to act in southern Africa to expand our country. For quite a long time, actually, it's really unfortunate, but hopefully by having a core on Zambia now, it will be less of a penalty w once we incorporate it into South Africa. I wonder if there's anywhere that we can still see that we have a core. I know we do, but I don't think that information is displayed. Let's have a look just quickly. I suppose it's just because we can't get another core on them, so that basically confirms it. I think Malawi is not one. Gain a core. Yes, this one failed before. So this is something we might try once the time period there is done. In any case, we are busy with the Universal Health Service, which is, I believe, one of our missions. We can have a look or one of our tasks. Our country could use some general improvement, and that's, of course, the Universal Health Service. And I think it's definitely overdue. I mean, it's already 2071, and we still don't have this. So it's a hallmark, I think, of a developed country, and we should have it. Of course, uh, we can say certain other countries should also have it, but of course there are certain leaders who would like to not have them have it. But anyway, different story. Universal academic education is also being introduced now, so all the universal things are happening, which I think is a good thing for our social development. We should never neglect that in our global ambitions. Other than that, I think the world is pretty much quiet. There was the issue last time of the space colonies becoming independent. There's only been Mercury so far, so I hope that that won't keep going. Let's just have a look, Mercury. Well, it still says Japan, so maybe it's just sort of the first rumblings of independence, which is good then, at least they're not formally independent, not yet anyway. Then also the Olympics happened, and of course we got some prestige from that. And the other moons, yes, we've got all of them now. I think I don't think there's anything else that can still be grabbed in space. All of it has been claimed, as far as I know. I know there's the issue of Jupiter, where if we control all of the moons, we also control Jupiter, or at least its upper atmosphere. But that really isn't very uh, much on the agenda right now, just because that means we have to basically conquer the Germans or the Europeans here to, to get Ganymede and the Canadians to get Callisto. And that's not worth it for me. So with that said, let's continue. It's June of the year 2071, and there it's July already, and there's some unhappiness in Antarctica still. And I suppose it's a bit cold down there, so people are always grumpy, but I have no idea why they're always the first ones to get unhappy, but anyway. The Navy is finished at last. Let's have a quick look at that. Is there still anything? Well, we have one more room for a unit, but I don't think that warrants a new unit here. Poor weather conditions. The weather lately has not been kind to us. Our energy system is not able to produce enough power for the entire country. That's not good. 20% reduction in our natural resources. This might impact our exports. Let's hope not, since we still have quite a margin here. Okay, it's still fine. It doesn't affect our economic situation uh, like we saw before when we were exporting too much. And this just confirms that we're still on track to get third place for the next review period, but that only happens in two years. So I think we're reasonably safe and we're almost catching up with Europea now. 
That's excellent, and the distance between us and Japan is increasing. Anyway, let's go back to the armed forces here. If we say, for example, to buy another aircraft, oh, okay, well, we can get one more. But I really like this fact that it's all even numbers now, 40, 20, 30, and 30. But I think maybe we should get one more. We've managed to catch agents from Japan that were trying to spy on us. Well, that's not a surprise. They're still our unofficial rival. Let's get another aircraft, I think. It's fitting because of that other technology we got last time that improves its attack against armor. So then we're basically maxed out. Hey, already there's a bit more. Interesting. It's 133 now. I suppose as our militarism increases over time, we can get more units. So let's get more infantry. Hmm, that's a good thing. Also a good thing that we have the minerals to pay for that. Stock exchange, let's take care of that. It's always something that we have to pay close attention to. And there's more, speaking of the devil. USA, how much are they giving us? Only 88, so we're back to square one again, unfortunately. Only 12% of the world stock exchange, but hopefully over time our relations can improve. Maybe we should actually take a more active approach to that. Let's just try and improve that. Also with all the other partners, I think. So who else? Brazil, South Korea. Obviously not all of these will succeed, but I think it will improve our lot. Definitely Europea. This is costing us a lot of money, but I think it's worthwhile. It will pay for itself. Just select it there. So who's left? The UK. I think that's the last one. Failure already with our most important partner. That's not good. So what was this? New infantry is done and failure with China. Uh, it's not a good period for us now. Failure with the US, Nigeria. Success with South Korea. That's something at least. Okay, let's just clear all of this. And success with Brazil. And with Europea. Soon find out. Ah, well, isn't that interesting? All the others succeed except for those two. Oh well. You see, it does make... Uh, and for this one. It does make a little bit of a difference. We're up to 13% now, but really the most important is the US. By far. Israel wants money again, I'm sorry. I think we gave you that before. Anybody else? No new embassies or student exchange or anything? Doesn't look like it. Oh well. So, about the blocks. Let's see if we can get somebody else. I think we should also make sure that Angola stays on good terms with us, but I think that's relatively easy enough. But let's just have a look. Improve relations. Just to be sure, you know, we don't want them leaving us. Greece declared bankruptcy. Failure with the UK. Alright, we've seen that already. Oligarch's son arrested. The police booked the son of a local billionaire on a DUI. His father insists that we let him go and his influence runs deep. If we let him go, that's 6% more unhappiness. And if we say no, the law must prevail, interventionism will go down and personal control will go down. Well, let's say the law must prevail. That just sits better with me, I think. So yes, Angola, I think we, we really need to look into the possibility of getting another partner. Even if it's a relatively minor country, it will help. So what about Kenya? Is there any chance of that? 49. So only barrier here is relations. So before we do that, let me just pause. I want to look at their military situation. 5-1-1, one, one. that's really bad. We can do better than that. 
What about Ethiopia? I know we looked before and it was impossible, but we're stronger now. So the only barrier again is relations and the chance is not so good. We'll have to try a, probably a few times, but there is at least the chance that they will join us. They're also authoritarian, so they pretty much match our governing style. And 14, 6 and 4 is certainly a much better outlook than the Kenyans. So let's try. I'll improve that. It costs us almost nothing because it's not a really a, you know, a major country in the world. So yes, let's go for that. Hey, Angola likes us more, so they're probably the country that likes us the most. 100% yes, they are just the biggest fan that we've got, and I think that's how it should be if they are in our block. Aircraft, so yes, that's it, our military is maxed out. Uh, wrong tab there, there we go, 133, so we've reached a new height here. I think I'm relatively confident if we can get the transports that we should at least fare much better with uh, Mashariq. Improved relations was a success, so let's try this. Well, there's nothing for it. How much does this cost? You see, we almost don't have enough units, so we better do this now. Ah well, it's not so much. Let's hope for the best. And it's done! Success on the first try. That's amazing. So there we go. Now we've got some real partners in Africa. So we better just make sure that they stay on good relations, uh, on good terms with us. Otherwise they will leave and try to form their own block. But right now it's 82. So obviously I can't improve it more at the moment. But uh, let's see. Make an investment? What's that? Invest will improve relations and give you a chance at some bonuses. And it just costs money, not HDI. I think we can do that. Of course there's a, well, a, I guess a chance that it will fail, but let's see. Oh, it'll take a while. Never uh, done that before. We can do the same here as well. I don't want to help. That's the same thing with the HDI. No. Let's invest. It's not too much. And speaking of money, let's take care of some of this debt that we've got. Luckily, the debt repayment is not very high. And I mean, this is almost a new height for us to get 1200 per whatever it is, per day or per month. I'm not sure because you see it changes per day. But anyway, this is a new height, definitely. So I think we're in a good position, even with this debt. But of course, we should try and get rid of it. But on the other hand, these projects are almost done and we will need some money to get new ones. And it failed. Oh, well, I guess our business venture didn't work out there. We can just try again later. So I think with the money that we have now, we're in a good position to try some of those more expensive military projects. Uh, success with Angola, at least. Huge success. We can now harvest the goods we want. Action points, money or score. I want score. I know money is a good thing, but really... Hey, we're number two already. That's fantastic. So as long as this holds... By the next review period, which is next year, I think we will be number two. So, of course, we want to cement that and just keep the score. So, essentially, that was money for score, which I like. Voting failed. Ah, well, this anti-democratic thing, we had it before, so it wasn't the most major thing. I would just really like to have a seat at this table. And the universal health is done, and we get the reward, which is more score. Fantastic. Let's just see, we'll get a new one now. Rule the seas. Oh, that sounds interesting. Rule the seas. Activate the naval units project, and we'll get more score and money and so on. But what does that entail, the naval units project? Well, we have to look at projects anyway, so it's a good time. Military... Naval units. Well, that would be this one, which costs 12,000. Do we need this for the transporter? I think probably we do. Yep, we do. So this is exactly what we want, and we're going to get rewarded for doing it. Perfect. 
You see, the game knows the direction I'm going in. And the other one is almost done as well. Uh, if I unpause, of course. It's a long time until I can do another investment. And that's done. So let's see, what else? Now, of course, it's going to cost us a lot to get more of these things. But uh, what do we need next? So we're doing the universal or the naval unit. We just need the universal air unit now. So that is this one and it does cost more than we have right now, which means more debt. But I think it's worthwhile, especially with our new enlarged uh, air force. Definitely worth it. Mass produced aircraft units useful in all environments. And even though this is very expensive to go down this branch, I think it's much better in the long term to do the arms manufacturing within our country than to import it like we were doing at the beginning. I mean, that creates jobs and all of that. There is, of course, the risk of the military-industrial complex becoming too politically powerful, but uh, in this instance it aligns with our goals, so that's okay. So what's next? Sanctions against authoritarianism. Okay, they don't have the support yet, that's fine. Let's see, what can we do in the block? I've obviously never played around with this because we haven't had a block before. Political integration, unionize the legal system and assert a centralized common government. So what would that mean? Would that mean that we become one country? I doubt that. That seems too easy. Anyway, let's look at some of the other things first. Freedom of movement. Obviously, I want that. We are block members, so I think we should abolish our internal borders. Relations cost. So what does that mean, relations cost? Does it mean it takes this off of our current relations? Or, I don't know, probably. Oh well, let's do that. Of course, it will take a while to implement that. So essentially, we're getting rid of all the border uh, controls and things between us and just opening up. I think that's a good thing. So we can at least draw on their skills and their talented people as well. And it gives us opportunities to bring our businessmen in there as well. And our businesswoman, of course. Loan taken, rule the seas, that's all the old stuff. Pakistan is bankrupt. That's a permanent feature. I wonder if other people in their games, they've also experienced Pakistan's continuous bankruptcy. So what do you want now? Our country is on the verge of civil war, which is why you're bankrupt, of course. We could use the help of an international military mission to help us keep the peace. We'll send you some people. It costs us money, action points. So we lose the infantry. Well, do we want this or not? You see, I don't know. It's difficult to say and now I can't click out because I would like to know, for example, is Pakistan going to use this to oppress civilians or what are they going to do with this armed force? You know, they are on the verge of civil war, but against whom? Of course, civil war would be bad for everyone, but not to keep a totalitarian regime in power. But, okay, we'll do it, just because of the extra relations and so on. We'll just get some more infantry. We better keep a, a lookout for this, because I'm not sure what will happen if it drops too low. If our block members might decide to leave us. It's even higher now, 137. So yes, we shouldn't trade away too many of our units. Oh yes, they're totalitarian. Wonderful. So we're keeping the bad guys in power right now. Oh well. China's status has been degraded. South Korea as well. Let's just take care of that. 19% now. Well, that's better. Let's see if I can do anything about the US. And who else? China failed. And the UK, I think. There goes the money. No, it's not worth going into debt for that. 
peace between Pakistan and the bloc of Indonesia. Oh, that was with Afghanistan. And these Central Asian countries just remain happy with India. Look at that, none of them have left, including Sri Lanka. Well, good for them, I guess. And the US hates us again. I don't know why, but there we are. So you see, they see that we are asserting ourselves more in the world now. At least China accepts it. And of course, we are now definitely a regional power, but we're also on the way to becoming a global power. So I'm not sure. I mean, I thought we were allies. I guess we still are because of the stock exchange, but I'd really like to cement that relationship. There is the anti-democratic cooperation. Of course, uh, is that not just the same thing? It is the same thing that just happened. Or is it? I don't know. But in any, any case, this is in favor of us. So, good thing. Should pass, I think. So let's have a look at this relationship with the US. It's really bad though. Only 31. See, it's all our conquests. Well, I wish we could try again. We can always try and help them, which I think is the ultimate pinnacle of irony that we must help the US. But yes, it's not really something we can do. So yes, it's irrelevant. Which shows you can help them, but you must be a superpower yourself. I mean, who's got 180,000 lying around? Such, such a debt. Imagine we take out that debt. That would just kill us instantly. Just keeping an eye out for more requests. Not really seeing anything. Hmm. Let's speed it up a bit. At least the block thing will be done very soon. And can we improve relations? Not yet, but we can try investing in uh, Ethiopia again. So let's do that. Two days, let's try to improve relations as well. It's very cheap again. And second place, that's it. So the uh, official rankings have now come out and we surpass Europea by, well, about 300. It's not a huge margin, but I'm happy with that. And you see Japan is not too far behind, but at least we're going up in the world. So now officially our benefits include a Human Development Index plus 5, unhappiness by 8% reduced, Army maintenance down by 25%. That'll be great for the economy. And look at that. It's already a 1600. And the unit max capacity is up by 30 as opposed to 15, which we had before. So now we can get even more military and pay less for it. Fantastic. You see, it rewards you for being a military power. As for the US, we're still incredibly far behind, about 9,000. I don't know if we'll ever match that, but anyway... Whoa, lots of things happening here. US, uh, Europea, Nigeria, UK, Brazil. Everyone wants more attention. And one more, the most important. 97. You see, China gives us more now because of the success with our relationship there. Let's see if the US will listen again costs us a lot. You see, we have to convince a lot of people with some fancy food and drinks just to say, please listen to us. Make some donations to lobbyists and so on. Well, Ethiopia doesn't want to improve relations. And the investment has failed again. What's happening in that country? Block integrator completed. Freedom of movement. That's a good thing. At least that's done. Can we do anything else? Let's have a look. Just pause that. Centralization. Centralize the executive power between bloc members in your country. What does that mean exactly? Block maintenance will go down. I guess that's a good thing. 
Hmm, I guess it's just forming like a secretariat or something that sort of coordinates better. What else? Army structures? Increase army limit from block members. Yes, that's what I want. Do it. I know it has another cost now, but we'll just have to keep on top of that. So, as for the army now, let's see. Whoa, 153. That's great. So, hopefully we can even get more block members. That would make me happy. And I wonder now, would the... Uh, sort of the arrangements that we now have with Ethiopia and Angola apply to any new members as well, or do I have to open the borders and all of that again? War losses. Why do we still have war losses? Zero. Oh, well, I guess this is just if we had war losses. So what do we want now? I think we need to shore up the armor, probably, or the navy. Let's get some more navy. Uh, about five more, and the rest can be armor. Or say ten more of that, and then one more aircraft, or one more infantry. After all, we always need boots on the ground. The transports must still come, but obviously we can still expand our limit there with a block. Hey, finally the US is willing to listen. Good on you. So what's our status now? Not much improved, unfortunately, but I guess it's something. And our money is up to 1700 now. In defense against imperialism, totalitarian and authoritarian countries will cooperate economically. That gives us more GDP growth, unhappiness drops by another 8%, and natural resources are increased. Fantastic. 48. Well, basically neutral. That's not too bad, I think. Let's have a look at the stock exchange. 136 now. Yes, there's a definite relationship there. Bhutan left the block of Japan. Hmm, it's a pity about Ethiopia. Oh, well. Indonesia due to unknown spies. Well, we know who to get if we need a new member now. So if we do get another block member... What? How would that work? Let me just have a look. Because now obviously we have a higher limit, but do the existing ones count against that? I guess not. That's why India has five block members. What about a North African country like Algeria? They are also authoritarian. Of course, they're from a different civilization and culture group now, so that might count against us. Zero. Oh yes, they're just not interested. Peace between Russia and Belarus. So that last little bit of Belarus is going to disappear very soon, I think. Cameroon joined Nigeria. So yes, there's definitely a block building happening in Africa. Who else can we get? What about Uganda? 17, 7 and 6. That's really not bad. I mean, compare that to Kenya. 5, 1, and 1. Hmm, maybe Uganda is not a bad idea. Confederation of Estonia left Japan. Ah, Pakistan is bankrupt again. Cameroon, we should just pin that somewhere, because it's just permanent. Cameroon joined the block of Nigeria. Yes, we've seen that. You see, I think the UN should just place Pakistan under administration or something, because clearly they are incapable of handling their own economy and so on. At least, of course, in the game. But yes, that's not good. So, yes, I think uh, Uganda is not bad. I wish we could see like a comparison, maybe under statistics. The army size, yes. What? We have the biggest army in the world? No. Really? 138, and the US is 70, and China 70. We have a bigger army than China, or the US, and almost a bigger army than both of them combined. 140. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I guess those countries have obviously not mobilized their full potential, probably to save money and so on. Because I can't see how the US or China can't have more than that. Also, maybe the issue is their governing style or their militarism might not be high at this time. I don't know. 
But let's see in Africa now. I wish we could sort by continent or civilization group or something like that. Oh, that's my alarm going off already. Let's just take care of this. Brazil, I doubt if Brazil would want to join. It's probably impossible, but I'll have a look. Colombia, Nigeria, well, they have their own bloc and they are a democracy. Algeria, we saw already, is 0%. Morocco would be as well. So Uganda is the most powerful sub-Saharan African state. Other than us, of course. And Angola, okay. Hmm, state of North Korea. So let's have a look at Brazil, just to see if there is any possibility at all. Decrease relation in block. I guess they have a block already. Yes, they do. Oh well. What about Argentina? 12%. That's really low. I mean, there is a chance. But uh, 12 doesn't sound too good. Let's have a look at their military. 9, 6 and 6. It's almost not worth it. We might as well just stay in Africa. So Uganda it is. They're a democracy, but I'm sure we can convince them to join us. So yes, 45 is not bad. 50% almost. We just need more relations. So let's do this quickly before ending the episode. I just really want to see if they'll join us. Then we can end on a high note. Assam, these countries have been very quiet. Rajasthan, I guess they're just exhausted from all those wars. Maybe we should also do like another project in space. I'm a bit weary about that because of the uh, independence movements, but anyway. Mining infrastructure, okay, we don't have the next gen city, but what about advanced industries? 100 province GDP. Maybe we should rather do those things back at home. Just, you know, starting from from the foundations. We'll still only add a hundred, but I mean, it's probably better to do this. Okay, we'll do it. Advanced industries in Cape Town. At least Cape Town is only this area, but anyway, in this part of the country. Ah, at least Uganda is convinced. Let's see if they'll join us. Good luck. And it's done. Oh, just so wonderful. Uganda joined our block. Dominican Republic joined the US. And we have the new tank. So let's just have a look at the military. Obviously we're still waiting, or are we, for the block thing. Ah, uh, no, it's still busy. It's just not showing here. So I'm assuming the freedom of mov movement is also applying to Uganda now. Ethiopia really doesn't like us. We should do something about that. And then, yes, with the army thing, hopefully we can get some more units. But already we have 10 more. So this is a never-ending process here. A never-ending story. Uh, which is good. And our money seems to be rolling in. So let's, well, let's wait on this because I want to get some transports before I get anything else. So, thank you for watching. This has been another episode and a lot of fun, I have to say. My voice is just not so great today, but I don't want to miss out. So, hope to see you next time and have a fantastic day and weekend.